gorgeous welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys hit that subscribe button to join my youtube family because i do upload every tuesday and thursday but today is another poshmark video and you guys probably know by now your girl loves her poshmark i say this in every single video but if you guys are new and don't know what poshmark is it is an app and website that allows you to buy and sell gently used or brand new clothing accessories shoes decor and so much more and it has become one of my side hustles and I feel like the longer I'm using this app myself I'm starting to learn these tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys if you guys are just wanting to use the app for yourself to get better deals or if you also want to sell hopefully this video can help your Poshmark closet with that being said I've now done so many videos on Poshmark so I totally recommend checking out all my other videos I will have them linked down below but I'm going to try and say different tips of course and different secrets and tricks on how to get sales faster. Comment your Poshmark closet or any tips or tricks you guys have that I haven't shared. And if you guys don't know, my Poshmark closet is just at Nicoletta XO. And if you guys don't have Poshmark yet and you are going to sign up, definitely use my code Nicoletta XO and that will get you a $10 credit. And I totally recommend using the app not only for selling but also buying. I will also have a cashback site in the description box for you guys, which I will be talking about later on on the the tips. You guys know I love to ball on a budget and I love to find my deals so I'm always into things that are going to help me save some money. So I will have everything I do talk about in the description box. I will also have my Instagram at NicolettaXOYT so follow me on there if you guys have any more questions you want to ask me but on that note let's just jump right into the tips and tricks on how to get sales faster. My first tip is to list your best items first in your closet. Remember that sometimes you only have a few seconds to grab someone's attention so it's really important to give a good first impression. You want people to see the first few items that kind of set the vibe for your closet. This brings me to my second tip, which is online sourcing. Poshmark has not only become an app for just everyday individuals to kind of sell things in their closet that they're not into anymore, but it has become sometimes a full-time job or at least a part-time gig for a lot of people. You want to take your closet to the next step and not just sell your old clothes. My my tip is to online source so you can actually buy clothing for cheap and then flip it for a profit onto your Poshmark closet. And you can do this so many different ways. There's a lot of websites that people use in order to get their inventory and then sell it on their Poshmark for a little bit more. Whenever buying anything online, I totally recommend using the cashback site Rakuten. I mentioned it a ton before, but it is just something I live by. And if you guys sign up with my link, which I will have it down below, once you make your first purchase, they'll give you $10 off the start, plus you'll get your cash back. So anytime you're gonna make an order online, you might as well get cash back. And Rakuten's really great with also sharing coupon codes that are going on during the store. And I'm all about saving as much as I can. A lot of people use websites like ThreadUp or The Real Real. The Real Real has a lot of designers that are more um, on a discounted price. So a lot of people will actually use that to buy something and then resell it for higher on Poshmark. And if you guys use Rakuten, they actually have The Real Real and hundreds and hundreds of other stores on there. Nordstrom Rack has sometimes really great discounted um, designer items and with Rakuten you can also get cash back on your orders. I've noticed a lot of people also will just buy things on Poshmark and sell it for a bit more. A lot of people just want to get their items out of their closet and a lot of people aren't looking to make it into like a full-time gig so you can always resell it for a bit more. And like I said, if you guys sign up with my code Nicoletta XO, you will already get your first $15 to $10 credit. So you can already buy something right away. If you guys keep getting your friends and family to join with your referral, you'll keep getting credit for yourself as well. So that could be a great way to buy items off Poshmark and then also resell them for more. If you really want to make it more into like a full-time gig, of course, you're going to need more inventory than just selling your clothes from your own closet because eventually you're going to run out of clothes. It 
has become such a success for so many people on the app. Some people are making six figures and are making crazy money on that app and take it super serious. And that leads me to the third tip, which is all about pricing. Pricing is super important. Pricing was definitely a little bit more difficult for me when I first started, especially with certain items, you may have no idea how to price them. And if that is the case, a big, big tip I have is just to go on the Poshmark app and search up that item that you're trying to sell or at least a similar item and then look at the sold section on Poshmark and kind of see what those items are typically selling for and put a price similar to that because most likely it will sell as well for you. In addition, when it comes to pricing, a, t a Poshmark tip is to price your items at least 10 to 20% higher than what you would accept just because a lot of the times people are wanting an extra deal or if you send offers to likers. So I recommend always pricing it a little bit higher so that you have that little leeway to bump your price a little bit more down. And speaking of prices, my tip number four is to lower your prices on Thursday and Friday, which are typical paydays for people. So I've mentioned this in my last Poshmark video, but I did notice that I tend to get a lot more sales near the end of the week. That is the time people are getting their payday. And every single time you also lower an item on your closet, it. everyone who liked your items on that photo will get an email saying that you lowered it I find a lot of people buy my items more often when I send a private discount to people and you can also just send private discounts to your likers by sending an offer to like my next tip is to offer a bundle discount to get people that tend to favorite or like multiple items on your closet so whenever you get that customer that likes a few pieces on your closet go ahead and send them a bundle I know for myself, every single time you buy two or more, I believe, items, you automatically get a 10% discount off of those. And what's really great is people save on their shipping as well. So if they buy five items, you still pay shipping once, while if you buy items at a different time, you're going to have to pay shipping again and again. And their shipping, I have to say, is quite pricey. I just find when you have it all in a bundle and you give them that discount, people are more willing to purchase your items. Tip number six is all about when to post and share on Poshmark. What sets Poshmark aside from other selling apps and other selling websites is it's a social shopping app. So they really like when you're active. It's kind of like a little Instagram, but for shopping. It's important to be active, share your closet, post new items, and if you have a lot of items, I recommend posting them in increments as opposed to all at once. Poshmark really likes when you keep active on your Poshmark closet. Since it is such a social app, they typically have a few parties every single day, and of course the parties are themed. Sometimes it's makeup themed, luxury themed, or certain brands. So I recommend using those and sharing your products into those parties, especially sharing your items into the evening parties. I find that's when people are the most active and a lot more people are gonna find your items and potentially buy your items. So you do wanna be active. You don't wanna just post something and never touch it again because most likely your item's gonna get lost, no one's gonna find it, and you're not gonna get sales fast. And that leads me to tip number seven, which is to list more consistently like I just said. If you have had an item sitting there for a few months and you're not getting a sale, I totally recommend relisting it. I used to hate relisting because it's so tedious, it takes so much time, and thankfully Poshmark has this new feature where if you just go on your item and you press edit, and then you go down to additional details and you press copy listing, you will be able to reshare it that fast. It will copy it completely for you. All you have to do is make sure that you delete the copy section in your title. You can rename your title, re put more information in your details, and then you could just post it. And it's as easy as that. You don't have to relist it yourself and redo the whole description and repost all your photos. Just make sure you delete your old listing because it will keep the other listing you have of that same item. So just delete it off your closet. If you're not getting a sale and it's just sitting there and sitting there, your item's gonna get lost. People are constantly posting new inventory every single day. It will bump your item to the top especially if someone is searching they're more likely to find your item and that leads me to tip number eight which is description is so so important so a lot of people don't put really great descriptions when it comes to the title and also the blurb where you can describe your item completely put these same keywords in your title and also put it in your description of when you're actually describing the whole item writing the brand the color measurements describing the item what type of item it is people mainly 
buy things off Poshmark by typing in a particular item they want. They don't necessarily always buy it from just seeing it on the feed. Most people either buy it when they get a private discount sent to them or when they are searching for that particular item. So you want to be descriptive so that when someone is searching up a particular item, yours pops up for them and they will potentially buy it and you will get a new customer. And that leads me to tip number nine, which is to follow a ton of new followers. This is usually seen as not good etiquette when it comes to like any other app, whether it's Instagram or YouTube. Doing spam is definitely not the way to go, but for Poshmark, it's totally okay. Something I like to do is I go on my Poshmark and I go in the shop section and I go all the way down until it says discover people and it could say my brands, my city, my college, new people. So I will go to to my brands and just start following people of the similar brands that I have or I'll just go to new people and start following all the new people down my list and it's important to just get new people that kind of have the same size same style as you because the more people that find your closet the more eyes on it and the more likely you're going to get sales not everyone is going to follow you back but you're going to get some followers by doing that and like i said the more people on your closet the better my next tip which is tip number 10 is to become a posh ambassador becoming a posh ambassador does have some of its perks once you become a posh ambassador you tend to get recommended to new posh as well as they tend to send you access to fun programs and as well as opportunities. It's a way for Poshmark to reward its most active members on the Poshmark app. If you guys are wondering and if you've been on the Poshmark app and you've seen people have Poshmark Ambassador on their title on their own closet, the way that you do it is all you have to do is go onto your Posh stats. Then you just have to click progress to qualify and it will tell you everything you have to do in order to reach that standard of becoming a Poshmark ambassador. So some of the things you have to do is you have to do community shares, self shares, new posture shares. They want a certain amount of available listings. They want a certain amount of sales to be reached. Your average rating has to be at least more than 4.5 and you also have to ship at least less than three days. And you have to give one love note, which means that you have to buy one thing on Poshmark. It could be as expensive as you want and you have to leave a comment once you do get your item. So that is why it's really great to sign up with my co Nicoletta XO because that will give you a posh credit and then you can go ahead and purchase anything you want and then once you do buy something and you leave that love note when you receive your item to that posher that will bring you either to a Poshmark ambassador or closer to your goal. So that is just like an extra little thing that you can do so it can help you kind of get recommended to more people so more people see your closet and you get more sales and my last tip has to do with shipping and that is to ship your items quickly so Poshmark gives you a week to ship your items but make sure you at least ship your items at least within two days. I like to ship my items within 24 hours. I just like to have it shipped as soon as possible. If you're gonna wait and it takes a long time to get to your customer, your customer probably is not going to leave you as good of a rating. So keep that in mind. You wanna have a good standing and a good rating on your Poshmark account. You want people to leave comments so people can see that you have a ton of great reviews on your closet so they're more comfortable to buy from your closet as well as people can tell on your closet on when you typically ship, how long it usually takes you. And I did a video talking about the shipping items I do use. I like to take a little bit more time when it comes to packing my items. I always like to leave a little note. I find that goes over really well with my customers. They really appreciate the note. I did mention everything I do use in the items I do ship with in my one video on Poshmark. So I ha will have that above and down below for you guys. But I've been getting really great results when I do take a little bit more time on my pack of course you want to take in cost depending on how much your packaging is you are going to have to take that out on your total you want to make sure that you're making a profit those are all of my Poshmark tips and tricks on how to get sales faster I totally recommend the app overall just for buying and selling I will have my Poshmark closet and the Rakuten link down below so make sure you guys go sign up so you guys can get your free $10 click the subscribe button and join my YouTube family I do upload every single week and on that note I will catch you guys in my next video Video. Bye!